This is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. I have fucking had it today. All I had to do was wake up one thought into my day and I was pissed off about fucking feminists. You know, and I thought, geez, how do I want to explain it today? Where the fuck am I going to go with this one? How can I say something in a different way? Because a lot of the things that we all talk about, it's the same problem. It's not women. It's not men. It's, it's, a, it's an ideology. <clears throat> it's an ideology. In the movie Ben-Hur, the bad guy, right? the tribunal, his, his thing was how do you stop an idea? Right? It's an idea. It's an ideology. It's faceless. It's nameless. A lot like we all, we all reject abusive government. But government is like an idea with guns. And you can't get to it. But while we're working with movie analogies and movie references, let's take the movie Inglorious Bastards. What a great flick Quentin Tarantino did. And it, and it showed a small group of men who went in to combat the Nazis in Germany. And Lieutenant Aldo Raines played marvelously well, right? He was like a caricature of, of somebody. <clears throat> but it was Brad Pitt playing Lieutenant Aldo Raines. And he's talking about the Nazis and what you do to the Nazis. He said, you know, I didn't fly across America parachute, you know, paratroop or, uh, <clears throat> yeah, parachute into Italy to teach lessons to Nazis on humanity. You know, he had this great fucking accent. He says, Nazis need to be destroyed, right? He wanted to scalp the Nazis. When they got done fighting them, they scalped them. They didn't take prisoners. They terrorized and killed. That is, they destroyed the enemy. Right? And even those that appeared to be Nazi turncoats or surrendered, he would carve the swastika on their head. Even on Colonel Hans Landa at the end who helped them destroy Hitler and kill his, his administration, he still got the punishment because Colonel Hans Landa played marvelously well by uh, Christoph. <sighs> He was still a Nazi. So any feminazi, what is our mission, right? What is our mission? It's not to be nice to them. It's not to convert them. We can't teach feminazis lessons in humanity. They need to be destroyed. They need to be stopped in their fucking tracks right where they're at and destroyed. The, the swastika on the forehead that they gave the Nazis that they returned, to show the enemy and terrorize them? You know, I don't want to carve letters on anybody, but feminists need to be labeled so they can be identified. That is what that is about. Symbolically identifying the enemy. Feminazis need to be destroyed. And who's gonna do it? Other women? The, the type of women that we would approve of, the very feminine ones, they won't fucking do it because their feminine nature causes them to be quiet. It's not going to be manginas and simps. Because they're manginas, simps, and even white knights. They're not going to do anything. They're afraid of feminists. They will not stand up to them. They won't say anything. They'll just agree and shake their head. The same way everybody that conquered was conquered by the Nazis just bowed the fucking head, right? They bent the knee to the Nazis. Nazis need to be destroyed. Same with feminazis. They need to be destroyed. You don't do it nicely, civilly, you fucking destroy them. How did Aldo Reigns and his crew do it? They would ambush them. Take a fucking lesson, man. Let reality be, a, uh, be guided by art, right? Art is oftentimes a reflection of reality, and reality is a reflection of art. <laughs> but we're battling an ideology. It's got real players out here. Real players. Real people, right? Men and women. 
as MGTOW, as a man going my own way and making my own choice that is not influenced by women. No siree, not influenced by feminists or any other uh, political ideology. And I even reject forms of MGTOW that tell me I have to believe something or, or accept some form of philosophical basis. Mine is about being a man. When I want to decide what kind of MGTOW I am, what kind of man I am, I reach between my legs, grab a handful of fucking nuts, right? And I go, that's right, I have the penis, I'm the man, I have the cock, right? This is what I feel like doing, this is what I should be doing. Feminazis need to be destroyed. They just need to be fucking stopped. You can't, let's go Terminator. They can't be reasoned with. <laughs> You can't bargain with them. They will not stop until every last man is dead. That's what Terminator feminazis do. They just, they will not quit. You, you can't bargain with them. You can't reason with them. They need to be destroyed. Fuck! That's where we're at with these creatures. You know, I call them vile, brass brassiere wearing makeup pied zombies and they don't want to eat brains they want to suck blood right they, they they're attracted to the smell of money these gold digging whores and they need to be destroyed that is it I love the character from uh, uh, Inglorious Bastards Stiglitz right he's he's quiet He's cold, but he cannot stand Gestapo, right? When he sees Gestapo, he's got to fucking kill him. Who are the Gestapo, right? They're, they're like the SS on steroids, if, you, if that's even believable, right? He goes after the highest of the high, Gestapo officers. The, you know, the, the, the SS were Hitler's goon squads of killers. These are like super feminists. Right, these are the bitches that you'll see on YouTube, on the news, on TV, that write newspaper articles and have blogs. But, you know, I sound like I hate women. I don't. I hate feminazis. And they need to be destroyed. Okay? Now why? Why would I fucking hate them? Let them be. Let them run around and do this and do that. Right? That's like saying, that's Neville Chamberlain pacifying Hitler while we're on the World War II analogy why the fuck did we do that well you know it's none of our business let them do what they do but look what Stalin did Mao did Pol Pot Hitler every tyrant kills everybody and everything in their path for their ideology and their selfishness their quest and thirst for conquest right Feminists, through their ideology, have not just taken out a few men. They haven't hurt just the bad ones. They have destroyed our very culture. When you think of what the Nazis did, what, what the Khans did, you know, if you want to look at it from a military perspective and say they were pretty effective, they kicked some ass, that's one thing. But when you look at the real destruction, the path of destruction. You could even talk about what happened to the Native Americans in the United States when the U.S. Army 